Hey folks, Robbo here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this afternoon we're going to be cooking on a 12 volt rotisserie and we're doing a boneless shoulder lamb. Uh, love cooking on the rotisserie and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is you don't have to do anything. All you've got to do is just keep cooking or keep supplying the heat source. Uh, so it just sits there and does its own thing. It's also a really good talking point, especially when you're out camping. And the flavours and the smells that that meat get when it's cooking over hot coals on a smoky fire is just, you can't even compare it to what you do at home. So it's fantastic. The only thing though when, you, when you're cooking on a rotisserie out here is, is you can't control your, your cooking environment. So say if it takes an hour and a half in a conventional oven, you pretty well need to double it only because it's not inside an oven or you can't put a hood over it and control that environment. So it's open air and you've only got the heat source underneath. But anyway, pick this up from Woolies. Uh, this one's rolled up. I want to cut it open, have a look at it. I might cut it into some medallions and that might quicken up the, the cooking time of it. But what I want to do this morning, prep it, cut it, put a nice rub on it, put it back into the fridge and let all that flavour absorb into the lamb. I love, I love eating lamb. Lamb is just, it's a meat that just soaks in flavour. And whatever you put into that meat, it comes out in the cook and you can really taste it. So I want to put a rub on it. And I don't really have a particular rub, it's just whatever I find in the cupboard and whatever I bought up today. So I'll have a quick geese. So if I try and maybe just cut it up into maybe something even if I cut it like that and if I do the same this way so it looks pretty even wise go I'm not going to trim any of the fat I like the fat on it except for that bit I like the fat on it uh, so when it's on that heat, it'll drip onto the hot coals um, and it'll burn off. Bag that seals with a clip. And I'm just going to chuck a heap of uh, flavours and spices into here, give it a rub, and that'll go into the, into the fridge. But number one's paprika. Love it. Uh, has good flavours in it and gives good colour to the meat. Turmeric, it's underrated. Love turmeric. Moroccan lamb, standard. That's just whatever I had left. And you can put heaps of different types of thing on, like garlic salt, buddy, whatever you want. curry and I picked this up I went to Bunnings the other day and I bought one of those $69 smokers just to try it around see if I like it and while I was there there was a heap of uh, different rubs and I've got this one here it's a it's a beef seasoning um, it's it's uh, it's actually really really nice it's it's got some good savory it's really coarse to do a bark on your briskets but it has a nice bang spice at, at the end of it. So that's that's one of my favourites right now. That'll be enough. And pepper. I won't put salt in yet. I'll put salt in later on. But I don't want salt on it yet. There you go. <coughs> I'll just chuck the medallions in. We've got a rosemary bush at home. Can't go wrong. It's great with lamb. Chuck it in, absorbs. I'm just give them a good rub. 
see the, the colour of it. You can buy the turmeric and the paprika. Nice dry rub. Now that's just to go straight back into the fridge and let the rub do its thing. Lamb soaks up flavour, something terrible, so this will taste really, really nice. Um, it's about 1.3 kilos. I would say that this would uh, maybe take three hours on the rotisserie. Uh, so we'll put that in the fridge and then later on we'll build up a nice fire, get some good coals for a good sauce and then um, we'll show you the next step. Hey guys, so it's about mid-afternoon. We've already got the, uh, the 12 volt rotisserie set up down near the fire. We've measured it out with what we need. Um, we've got the medallions out. I don't know, there's no actual way of doing it. I like just putting an onion on either side as well. Then you've got a bit of cooked onion with it. And it enhances flavours. That outside. And it's just trying to pierce it in. I love garlic. So I'll just put some garlic on it. Oh, look at that. Smash that garlic. Just paint it on. There's no wrong or right way to do this. How's that? Head down to the fire, right? That's got some real heat to it. And then you just let it go. You don't do nothing else. <laughs> hours into the cook and I want to do a quick sauce that I want to baste on it to give it that nice little uh, finish where it will make it nice and sticky. Using a bit of, um, the reason we're a little late is we got on the beers, something different. Whole grain mustard and this is whatever you find at home really it's, it's, it's nothing specific it's just whatever you got and this is what I found up at home. So I brought it up, Worcestershire sauce. Sriracha. It's got a real bite to that, that's sriracha. And this is my favorite barbecue sauce right now, Bullseye, it is a cracker. It's mainly barbecue sauce that we want to smash in there. With Worcestershire sauce, what else we got? Whole grain mustard, a bit of honey, garlic. Uh, I've got garlic onto the on the meat already, and from there, that last 30 minutes of cooking, all this sauce will just give it a nice glaze and thicken up and make it really sticky and give it a nice finish for the end. Let's do that. See the meat's looking really, really good now, and that's nearly cooked. And that sauce that we've done, we just turn off the, the rotisserie and we can give that a good, good paste. Rotate it a bit more. Now look at the colour on that, that looks fantastic. Just the smell coming off this lamb. Looks fantastic. And this is nearly done. This is nearly done. And then we'll let it rest and we'll do the other compliments afterwards. 
And what we want to do is uh, some potato scallops. So I'm just going to put them on the ball first. So I've got the billy going already. That's falling away already. Woo! Put them on the boil so that can soften up. And then I'm going to um, put them on the grill and we'll, uh, we'll have some potato scallops like, like some chips. Hey troops, now that's just over three hours and I reckon, I reckon it's ready. So what we want to do is, is we want to rest it. So we'll let that rest for let's say 20 minutes probably a bit longer and we can start doing the next bit of the dish well, what special ingredient we're putting on there Craig it's <laughs> <laughs> a good question Rocky oh, okay. uh, garlic butter I'm garlic just butter. basing it onto the onto the corn so what we've done so we've let that lamb just rest. Holy jeez, it smells good anyway. But if we do a nice Have a geese of that. Anyway, enjoy. We've had too much. I hope you get some tips out of it. Rotisserie at camping, it's a cracker. Uh, you can just smell just the, the flavours that are coming out of it being on, on top of hot coals. Um, enjoy. We're done. Let's get some more and have enjoy this. Oh, look at that, perfect. <laughs> Apologise for my father-in-law, we've had a couple. 